Hey guys, uh, so in t uh, this part of the video I'm going to be discussing uh, where to put your uh, talents for a frost mage uh, in your artifact. Uh, so let's just get right into it. Uh, your first point is obviously even bolt. You get this baseline. Uh, now the frost artifact, uh, you want to be going this way. Uh, you want to hit your first uh, spike of power right here when you get black eyes. And then you want to keep moving and get this. Uh, and there's two ways to do this. Uh, the first way is this way. You just max here. Take all the talents here to the left. Uh, so you get the black eyes. Uh, this is very, very strong because it uh, it empowers your glacial spike uh, to do to hit even harder. Like if you have one or two black eyes uh, in your five icicles when you're going to shoot off your glacial spike, it can do a lot more damage. Uh, but it's based on RNG and you don't really know if you have it or not. So it's just a good thing to have. I think it has a pretty high proc rate. Uh, so then we take frozen veins, go clarity of thought. Uh, well, yeah, this is this is the way to get the shield to the core as soon as possible. I think this is uh, the the perks of having this, uh, of going this way, is that you get shield to the core already at level 19 on your artifact. So you just rush all the way here, which means that you can have this pretty much when arenas are um, are uh, out for no, no issue. The problem is that. This build is a little bit weaker uh, because what you want is you want to go. Let's just finish this one first. So you go here, go here, go here, and after that you go back down here. Take this frostbolt damage. Then you get jouster. Then you get chain reaction. And then you get it's cold outside. And then your last point is going to be in icy hand. And after that it doesn't really matter where you put your points. Uh, uh, because this is useless and this is pretty much useless as well for PvP, so you can just pick them. I, I guess I will go orbital strike and then uh, the storm rages. So this is build number one for uh, frost artifact, uh, uh, and the perk of this build, like I said, is that you get you get to chill to the core as soon as possible, which will increase your burst, which will also increase your. This works on ice form, by the way, if you're wondering. Uh, and this will also increase your um, your damage when you're building up for the for the glacial spike, because the beauty of frost burst, even though it's a bit clunky, is that you can go all the way up here, get this all the way up here, and then you can pop your ice form, which has a 45 second cooldown. And then when you pop your ice form, you can actually stack up five icicles with it. And then you can wait for another ice form and fire off a spike with. Um, uh, the new ice form, so you will build up uh, your frost bolts. They will deal 20% more damage, and your um, your glacial spike therefore will do 20% more damage. But then, of that total damage, let's say it's 800k, you will deal another 20% of that 800k uh, if you wait for your secondary ice form. Uh, so that's the beauty of this, and that you get it fast. Now the downside is um, I'm going to show you now with the second build is that in this build. Um, it's not as clunky. You still go for the black eyes. You go here, and then when you reach here, th this is where you do something different. You pick up icy caress, which will increase your frostbolt damage, at, like in general, by 10%. Uh, and then after that, you would have to go back up here, and then get ice age, and then get chill to the core. And now you would hit your best power spike, uh, so to speak, the earliest good power spike that you have is going to be at artifact level 22. Whereas uh, I think it was 18 for the other one, uh, so that's really the only big difference uh, between the two builds. And then you still go down here and get Jouster. And now the reason why I don't take it's cold outside uh, is because I'm going to be playing a spec with uh, Lonely Winter. Uh, so it's uh, I think it's more beneficial to go for the Shane reaction uh, than to go for it's cold outside. Uh, so we just go chain reaction, it's cold outside. Uh, you can do it the other way around too if you want. Uh, and then you go icy hand, and then your last points, it doesn't really matter. You just put them here and then put them here. And that's it. That's it for the frost artifact. Alright, so for uh, frost mage talents, I already got them all set in. Uh, I can't change them over here because I'm in, uh, in a duel, so I can show you guys some stuff as well. Uh, but basically, uh, you want to go Lonely Winter if you are uh, playing against, let's say you're playing uh, 
a caster cleave in three versus three, like um, Frost Mage, Shadow Priest, Resto Shaman, or something, uh, and you're playing against another double caster setup, uh, like Warlock, Elemental, uh, Resto Dread, or I don't know, something. Uh, you can go Lonely Winter because in, in these type of games you're gonna be you know standing back and PvEing a lot, but uh, in the in the standard uh, burst compositions like Rogue Mage and stuff, uh, you want to be going with uh, with Bone Chilling. The reason why you like Bone Chilling is because obviously you get a pet and you get some extra damage uh, throughout the game. This also procs when people hit you from your uh, passive armor uh, slow. So uh, this is overall just a pretty strong talent. Uh, you lose a lot of damage on your frost bolts, uh, which uh, builds up your glacial spike damage. It gives you flurry procs. When you crit with frost bolt, your chain reaction makes your ice lance hit harder. Frost bolt just makes everything hit harder, basically. Uh, but despite that, you're gonna have to lose out on some of the frost bolt damage in order to uh, be dealing damage more often, which is what having a pet is going to allow you to do. Uh, so therefore, uh, you can go either of those, it's kind of optional. I'm leaning towards Bone Chillin'. I liked uh, Lonely Winter before they nerfed the spike, uh, because uh, it would give you the one-shot spikes. But now they nerfed that, so uh, I think Bone Chillin' is the way to go. Shimmer is, uh, is very good. You pick Shimmer for all mage specs in Arena, I would say, uh, because it lets you do uh, Polymorph while blinking, uh, voice crack. Uh, it lets you do Polymorph while blinking. Uh, it lets you do uh, a, a number of things actually. Uh, let me hear. Let me just show you here. Uh, if I can get a flurry proc, please Blizzard, uh, give me a flurry proc. All right, we got one. Uh, so what you can do as Frost Mage is, if you stand over here and you shatter with a flurry, your frost bolt is going. You see that frost bolt? That was a pretty significant hit right there. Uh, you can see here, it was a 325, 326k Frostbolt. And uh, the reason why it hit so hard is obviously because of a talent I'll explain later called Deep Shatter. But basically what this means is that your Frostbolt benefited from your Flurry proc in order to uh, to hit that hard. Now, if you Flurry someone, if you Frostbolt Flurry someone, oh nice, we got it right away. If I do it over here, like this, you guys are going to see that Frostbolt. Uh, let's see here if we can find it. Uh, right there. This Frostbolt. Wait, was that when I'm stacking? No. Yeah, because you can see the flurry, obviously. Uh, this Frostbolt did only 67k damage, even though I did the same thing. Now, the reason why it works that way is because your flurry travels faster. Uh, so, as you see here, a Frostbolt, you see how it travels? That, it travels faster than the Frostbolt does. So, the further you are from your target, um, I think it's from like 20 yard range, something like that. Uh, it will always give you the benefit of shattering, uh, which is essentially hitting a frozen target because your flurry makes your target frozen for like a second after you use it. Uh, that's why uh, Shimmer is really good because you can do a combo with that, which I will show you right here. Uh, if we can get a third flurry pro Kalinka, that would be swell, please. This is the one, there it is, I knew it. Okay, so what you can do is, if you're standing right here, you can actually cast a frost bolt, blink back, and then shoot the flurry. And this frost bolt is gonna hit for tons of damage, as you saw there. Uh, some trinket procs, but yeah, uh, that's the idea of it anyway. Uh, and then another thing you can also do is you can blink, you can frost bolt, blink, and a nova, and you can make it proc that way. Uh, it's just it just makes frost uh, frost mage in general smoother. So uh, definitely you want to go with shimmer. Uh, and then after that, it's Encounter's Flow. Th these two talents are pretty much standard for every build. Uh, Ice Nova, the reason why Ice Nova is so good is because you can, uh, for example, Glacial Spike, and then while it's traveling, you Ice Nova, and as you saw there, it did a 900k crit. The reason why it did a 900k crit is because your Ice Nova, uh, much, uh, you can hear this uh, on the name, uh, it's a Nova, <laughs> and it's also a Nova that does a lot of damage. So while Frozen Touch, which would be the other choice, uh, gives you two charges of fingers of frost and having two charges of fingers of frost gives you more damage on two ice lances than one ice nova does by its, uh, by itself uh, just having two ice lances like that I didn't crit I didn't have a fingers of frost either <laughs> either way having uh, two fingers of frost is more damage than an ice nova but if you combine the ice nova with an abon bolt 
uh, or a Frostbolt or a Glacial Spike, it uh, gives uh, those spells the benefit of Shatter, which makes it better for comboing. So you want to get the Ice Nova definitely, no matter what. Uh, and then the last talent row is kind of optional. Uh, ice Flows is the thing that you're going to be using the least. Uh, you want to be using Ice Ward, I think, most of the time, because uh, it gives you an extra Nova to Shatter with. Um, and then uh, Ring of Frost is nice against Druid teams, because uh, otherwise they can shift your CC. If uh, you're playing with, let's say, a Rogue and he sheep shots the Druid, but the Druid is in travel form, he can't really do anything, or someone is stunned behind the pillar, and you can't land a poly because he's out of your line of sight, Ring of Frost solves these issues. So against Druid mainly, though, I would go with Ring of Frost. Uh, it also treats the target as frozen, so you can Ring of Frost someone and then shatter him uh, for a big chunk of damage. Uh, but other than that, for just standard, like say, let's say solo play or two versus two or something, I, I will stick with the Ice Ward for now, chat. Uh, we go in this row, it's, uh, it's kind of a joke. <laughs> I tried out an Ice Lance build where you don't go deep shatter uh, and you just try to spam Ice Lance with Frost Bomb up. It does pretty pathetic damage and breaks all your CC, it's not really viable in my opinion. Uh, unstable Magic uh, has a chance to break your CC, this can proc at the worst times and make you lose games. But the extra damage that you get overall weighs up for it and uh, the third choice is like, uh, I don't even know. <laughs> uh, I don't know, I guess they ran out of ideas when they made this. Uh, and in the last talent row, some people like to go Comet Storm. I think Comet Storm is, uh, it doesn't have enough impact on the game. Uh, Glacial Spike is clunky because it has a long cast time uh, and it has a wind up time. Uh, but Comet Storm, honestly, it doesn't do enough damage to just justify picking it, in my opinion. Uh, and whereas Glacial Spike has a physical root effect. Um, which you can shatter in, which is undispellable, uh, only dispellable by freedom effects such as Master's Call and uh, Hand of Freedom from Paladins. Uh, so I think Glacial Spike, while it's clunky, when you do get it off, it's rewarding because you get the Glacial Spike off and then you can also shatter into the Glacial Spike uh, right after, which I will show you uh, later on in this video. Uh, so these are the go-to talents for a Frost Mage, uh, for the reasons I mentioned. Uh, now let's see the Honor talents. You go Orc or Relentless. If you're not an Orc, you go Honor. Uh, you just go a normal Trinket uh, Medallion. Mind Quickness, uh, Burning Termination for Frost, more often used than Prismatic Cloak, just to the fact that, unlike Fire, for example, you don't have three Phoenix Flames, which gives you instant Pyros, and you don't have Fire Blast, which gives you instant Pyros. There's no way of getting instant Frost Balls, you know. Uh, so you're going to be casting a lot, is what I'm trying to say. And Burning Determination uh, is uh, very good for that. Uh, you can cast a Polymorph, get Counterspelled, and then immediately start building up your damage. And it's more about school juggling at this point when you've got Burning Determination. Um, you can go Prismatic Cloak uh, against uh, other teams, especially against other Frost Mages. Uh, you can go Prismatic Cloak and then you can blink right before they fire off a Glacial Spike and make it miss and avoid a big chunk of damage like that. Or you can avoid uh, you know, other Frost Mages, Polymorphs and stuff. Against other casters, this is a very solid choice. Uh, but against like a caster melee team or um, uh, a double melee team, you, you want to be going Burning Determination. For solo play and 2 versus 2, Temporal Shield is a must-have. Uh, you pop it whenever you think you have, uh, you're have. going to be bursted, whenever you th right before you're going to get stunned, you try to predict it, and uh, it, will, uh, it will basically negate an entire swap on you, uh, unless dispelled. It is dispellable. Uh, Kleptomania against Resto Druids and uh, against uh, just the hot heavy healers, basically. Um, you can pick it against min uh, Mist Weavers, uh, Resto Druids, Resto Shamans mainly. You never want to pick it against a Priest or a Paladin, really. Uh, especially against the Paladin because you want to be stealing freedoms and such against Paladins. You don't want to you want to have a spell still available often. You don't want to cool down on that shit. Uh, in this talent row, this is a joke. I'm not even going to talk about this talent. Uh, Frostbite. Frostbite is good, but if you compare losing 200% damage on your Frostbolt, which means that you're going to be doing these Frostbolts, <laughs> Uh, which doesn't do a whole lot of damage even in a duel where there is no PvP template active. Uh, 
you want to be going for uh, Deep Shatter no matter what. This is a must-have. I would in fact say that Frost Mage before level 43 is extremely weak. Um, at 43, it's, uh, it's good when you get to cast, but I wouldn't say it's as good as Fire. Uh, it's better than Arcane though, because Arcane has to do the same thing, just does it with higher mana cost and with less CC. Arcane is only really better in 1 versus 1 scenarios against melees in my opinion. Uh, and in the last talent row, another uh, April's Fool coming out of Blizzard here with concentrated coolness. Uh, I mean, just look at this thing. This uh, It takes for 6k. <laughs> uh, I don't know about this talent. Uh, Burst of Cold. It can make your Cone of Cold hit quite hard. But Ice Form is the way to go. Ice Form works with uh, the artifact trait Chill to the Core, which is this one. Uh, which will give you a big boost on your Frostbolt damage, which is exactly what we want. It will make you immune to stuns. Uh, this uh, actually has a couple of interesting interactions. If you pop it at the same time as you get sapped, you can play while you're sapped. You can cast and move while you're sapped. Uh, same thing for like a Demon Hunter Prison. Um, and uh, same thing for stuns. So this basically lets you play the game when you're CC'd. In general, it's it's a bit buggy. Certain uh, certain spells uh, uh, you can't use it while you're under the effect of certain spells, and certain spells that shouldn't trigger the ice form effect because the tooltip only says uh, uh, knockback immunity and stun immunity. Uh, it just bypasses that, so it's it's a little bit vague tooltip. But this is really strong CC avoidant and offensively. You always want to go with this, uh, and yeah. These are the talents uh, that you would pick uh, in the honor tree, the honor talent tree. Love rules the streets, the bloodshed paints a red, music suits the beast. They try to keep us sleep. Third eye in the pyramid, making me a cyclops. Nocturnal moving through metropolis or night watch. Knowledge, wisdom, understanding, reasons I don't like cops. Dealing with these underhanded demons, selling white blocks. Violence begets violence, and the karma comes from other games. Afghani opium, the made it to my brother's veins. Love post to supersede every source of nonsense. I have never ever met a killer with a conscience. Your favorite rapper. Is a politician court responsive Legal drug dealer paid to feed your kids garbage One thing is constant, law rules the streets Humanity will overcome any type of beef We will be mobilized and riot Burn it down with fires Destroy and build empires Tell them that you're tired Thoughts are deep from lessons learned with practice But as the world turns, I'm wondering why I'm holding on to break beats for heads in the street But the murder's got to see the streets about survival revival the mosque and ass churches man without a hard hard head ask his ass worthless action has a purpose walk a line and watch the earth spin aimless young and blinded but mind you that we can birth men let me get this verse in the person we fear reflected in the streets you get accepted rejected except the best men book me for a session and my love for the streets and i need a plate of crepes crates a plug for the beats and the nights are dark and lonely when it's you in the uber but i watch the world around me and i learn to maneuver and i see them burning flags while i'm burning the buddha so i take a sip of yak and take a seat on the terrace and who would have thought that street love came from streets and in paris and i do this for the soldiers knee deep in the barracks and i'm then be represented bad news in the peach state my life ain't made for average keep the name as a keepsake God, oh my fucking god 2.8 <laughs> we gotta check this guy's pulls dude slash pulls are you alive bro are you okay yo, yo, you guys want to see some funny shit look at the shaman okay look at the shaman